All right, time to form Voltron. So we'll start with the Blue Lion. Uh, if you've watched, you should watch the other reviews because that's where we transform all the other ones. Blue Lion, ready for action. Whatever you say, Shiro. Red Pinch, fire up the Green Lion. We're coming in hot. Pinch, fire up the Green Lion. We're coming in hot. How cool is that? When you, uh, it detects each one is this when it's added, which is really cool. It's significantly tall. That's a weird way to say it, significantly tall. It's tall. It's 16 inches or so, I would say. So it's got a pretty cool look to it. Uh, I like that the lions are all kind of the same size in lion mode, but when you add them as limbs, they are, you know, more proportionate. Although there are a few things, I don't want to, I'm not going to nitpick yet, I'll save my nitpicking for the end. But there are a few things proportionally that sort of bug me a little bit. Let's see what kind of articulation Voltron has in combined form. The head, once again, does not move. The arms do there. There's a little joint here, and it also rotates. And then the hand also rotates. Spring-loaded does not fire a fist, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, no, you don't have a waist joint. You do, once again, have the uh, nice leg articulation that I mentioned earlier. So you can put... Actually, because of this extra joint, you can actually uh, get a full double-jointed motion there. So you can actually get some good poses out of this. You have to be a little creative with the foot posing because there are no really ankles, but what you do have is the benefit of, you know, moving the other feet down to support whatever pose you want to. It, it makes up for it, the ability to, to do that. Um, I wanted to point out a couple of things design-wise here. I do, I do think that the uh, arms are maybe a little long, and I was looking for some way to, like, collapse this this neck. You know, if we could get rid of this neck area, because I know this is how this stuff tucks in, you know, this is how the legs tuck in under that, which I think is a really cool idea, really well engineered. Um, but it would have been, I think the arms just look a little long, and it's because of this this neck bit, in my opinion. So there are some weapons, too, we can talk about. The first weapon we have is the Blazing Sword. It is made out of parts that come with two of the lions. And they just sort of snap together kind of easily and very easily gets grasped in the hand. Then we have the shield, which is a little more of an issue for me. This is the shield here. Put it on his shoulder up here if you wanted to. You could put it here. If you want to, can you really? I guess you can do that. All right, I guess you can do that. It's not a great. Uh, Pidge, form shield. My shield can't take much more of it. Yeah, tell me about it, Pidge. How did it know I was doing the shield? Maybe it was a random coincidence, but the shield is small. Uh, the, I just keep it up here. That's what it looks. That's what it looks best. So I like the combined form. It makes an imposing figure at you know the height that it's at. It's pretty articulated. It is a little top heavy, I would say, based on my experience, but you can alleviate a lot of that with careful posing. It displays nicely. It's a really good quality. It's an honest to goodness toy. So this is something that, you know, the way I think about it is that if I'm gonna be 
going to yard sales in, in five years. Like, what are my odds of finding one of these unbroken and complete in a toy box? And I think the odds are pretty good. It seems very sturdy and it's gonna hold up for repeated play, but it also looks nice enough for the collector. But I like it. I like the redesign. I'm, I'm good with it. But there's one last problem. That combining Voltron was pretty easy, but taking him apart, oh my god. A lot of force. This one I couldn't even. Fire up the green line. We're coming in hot. Like seriously. Fire up the green line. Shut the hell up, pitch. Why that? I can't. I can't even get that off. Jesus Christ. So that unfortunately is what happens. Maybe that gets easier with time. I don't know. This is Josh from Collection DX saying we need the red lion oh shit